These next problems are about missing numbers. So you see, you know, a number sentence, an equation here, and instead of having a number here, it's got a letter, and we're supposed to figure out what number that letter is. And these problems can be pretty confusing at first. So I want to show you two different ways to do them. First, just to help you visualize what this is, imagine, so we have n plus 6 equals 32. So the whole thing, the whole pi, is 32. But that 32 is also n plus 6, so it's like some part of the pi is n, some part of the pi is 6. So if you were to chop out that 6 and take it away from 32, if we take that 6 away from 32, that would be what n is. So we're taking 6 away from 32, so it's really 32 minus 6, and that is 26. So that's what n is going to be, and that's going to be your answer. So that's a way to kind of visualize it and think about it. Another way is to do it with algebra, and I know um, algebra may be a little bit down the road for you yet, but I think this kind of algebra you can probably do. The way to think about this is to solve for n, that's what they would call it in algebra, and what you want to do when you solve for a letter, we call it a variable, is you want to get rid of any other numbers on that side of the equal sign and get all the numbers over here. The way we do that is we just do the opposite of whatever's happening over here. On this side we have n plus 6. So instead of plus 6, we have to do the opposite of that, and the opposite of plus is minus. So we would make it look like this. I'll write it again down here. n plus 6 equals 32, and now I would do minus 6 to that side of the equation. But the rule in algebra is whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you have to do to the other sign, side. So I have to put minus 6 over there. Now on this side, a plus 6 minus 6, that comes out to 0. So this side would be n plus 0, or just n. So we write that as n equals, and then on this side, we'd have 32 minus 6. Well, that's 26, and that's the answer we came up with the other way. So that might seem a little bit confusing to you right now, but uh, it'll probably sink in as you do some. Let's look at another one. In this one, we have j plus 30 equals 79. It's really just written in a different way. It's, it's pretty much uh, similar to the last equation. So the total number here is 79. That 79, that pi of 79, is split into two parts. j and, oops, I forgot to write it in here, 30. So if we were to cut j out and take it away, Sorry, if we were to cut the 30 out and take it away, we'd be taking away 30 from 79, and that and would leave us with j. So the idea here is 79 minus 30 equals j, or in this case, 49. Now, if you want to do this in the algebra way, the first thing you want to do is rewrite it. j plus 30 equals 79, so we'd write it just like that. j plus 30 equals 79. We want to do that because we really need to see that equal sign when we're doing an algebra problem. And remember, we want to get the, the letter, the variable, all by itself, so we have to undo whatever else is happening over here. We have a plus 30. So to undo it, we'll do the opposite, which is a minus 30. But the rules of algebra say do that to both sides. So a minus 30 to that side. Plus 30 minus 30 is 0, leaves just j over there. And on this side, we have 79 minus 30 equals 49. Either way you do it, if you try to visualize it, or if you do it with algebra, it should come out the same. One more of these, and this one looks a little harder, but it's not really. These numbers, you can simplify this by just adding them all up. 30 plus 11 is 41, plus 5 is 46. So this is the same as 46 plus m equals 69. And that's only slightly different from um, the, the equations we were looking at before. And the other ones, the letter came first. But because this is a plus sign, it doesn't really matter. 46 plus m is the same as m plus 46. You could switch those around all day if you want to. And now we'll do this the same way. You can visualize this as the total being 69. The, the total pi has 69 in it. And then if we want to find m, we have to take away the 46. So subtract 46 from 69, 
and we get 23. If we want to do this the algebra way, we say, what do I need to undo on this side? Well, we have a plus 46. To undo it and get that variable, that letter all alone, we would do a minus 46, but we have to do it to both sides of the equal sign. Plus 46, minus 46 come out to 0, leaves just M on that side, and 69 minus 46 is 23. So those are some problems about missing numbers.